Welcome to this overview of PXF Merge Wrap. So here I have a, an image, an RGBA image that's from a key, and I have a, a background, random background here, and I'm combining the two with an over. I would like to have a little bit of crosstalk between the two layers. I want the bright areas from the background to spill on my character to have a bit of light pollution and vice versa because I have some very bright and saturated colors here. I want to bloom a little bit of her color on the background as if the light is bouncing on her and lighting the, uh, you know, moisture in the air or the pollution or the dust in the air. Just a little bit of pollution on the background. So you can kind of do that by double comping and using the new light wrap node but i found this always to be clunky so i've created a tool called pxf merge wrap so let's have a look we've got pxf merge wrap here and merge wrap is meant to replace your final over when you combine your best key with your best background here so if we combine our layers with merge wrap by default we have a pretty heavy merge wrap let's disable both so I've got disable switches here. If both wraps are disabled, I'm, I end up essentially with an over. So there's no difference between merge wrap and over if we disable both wraps. If I enable the back uh, wrap, then you can see that her color bleeds onto the background. So we've got two adjustments here. How big do we want it? So that's the back blur. So the more we blur, the farther we go out and vice versa and the back mix which is the opacity of the uh, back wrap so if i lower the mix i can make this more subtle so to see the effect i can toggle it on and off and you can see the skin tone and her uh, the red from her shirt is bleeding a little bit on the background i can choose to uh, blend the uh, the back wrap either as an over or as a plus. So plus will behave more like a light wrap. So if you set it to plus, then the bright areas will spill on the background, but the dark areas won't affect your background. If you set it to over, then the bright areas will affect your background, but also your dark areas will affect your background. So in this case, I wanna simulate light bounce. So I'm gonna use a plus. Uh, you also have the front wrap, which is a more typical edge wrap. So if you enable that, then you have the colors from the background bleeding onto her. Uh, you can choose how far in you wanna go. So you can go really far if you wanna create more of a halation effect or a bit uh, less further in by using the front blur. And you can use the front mix to adjust how intense you want the effect to be. And you can choose whether you want to over. So again, over, if you have some dark areas on the background, the dark areas will darken your foreground. If you set it to plus, then it's more like a light bounce type of effect where the dark areas will not affect your character, only the bright stuff will affect your character. And then you can adjust uh, the size and the opacity like so. So this is a pretty heavy wrap. I'm going pretty ham for the demo here. You want this to be subtle. Usually if you can tell right away there's a wrap, it means it's too strong. New for this version of Merge Wrap, very exciting. We have a new secondary uh, tab here where we could add an extra front merge and an, an extra back merge. So if you wanna have a big one to just have a bit of a light bounce and then a smaller one, uh, for example, an extra uh, back wrap here, we can enable it, make it small like so and less uh, intense here so we could use the small one just to have a really uh, tight uh, bounce really close to the edge and then you can have your front one or your primary one uh, to have a big big old light bounce here so we can have two layers of back wrap and front wrap so if i enable a front wrap i could have a very tiny front wrap here like so and just to step on the edge here to blend the edge with my background. So now we have two 
back wraps and two front wraps in the same node and also a big upgrade now we have a mask input and the mask input can behave in two different ways so let's create some alpha with the roto whoops with a roto here like so so now we can choose whether or not the mask will only limit the effect of the wrap so now i only have wrap inside my alpha here you can tell so I can choose to limit the effect of the wraps with the mask, or I can uh, behave like a merge node and limit the effect of my entire merge operation. So this would be the same as using the mask input on your over. So most likely you want to limit the effect of the wrap only. So that's the default setting. So there you go. That was an overview of PXF merge wrap. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.